that relationship and the fear of loneliness that you end up killing yourself for just sitting down in a relationship that is not working or that is not good for you that is very harmful to you i don't think that's what you want to do for yourself hi guys welcome back so last week we talked about signs to never overlook in your relationships red flag signs now let's assume that you did not notice those signs and you're now in a relationship things have gotten so bad the red flags have overblown and then you are now in a full-blown toxic relationship that you want to get out of but you don't know how to you don't know what to do you don't know where to start from i'm going to be sharing some tips on how to break free and get out of a toxic relationship so if you want to know how to you have a friend that is going through it you are going through it there's somebody you want to teach or there's somebody you want to help you can share this video or sit down relax and let's talk about it the first step to take to break free from a toxic relationship is to recognize toxic patterns you need to be aware what exactly are these signs are they there is this person toxic sit down reflect be sure that it's a pattern that you don't want to deal with it's very toxic and you need to get out of it the moment you are aware of it the moment you have identified it and you have told yourself the truth that this is a toxic pattern then we are one step because sometimes you can be in something that we are lying to ourselves about and if you are lying to yourself about it there is nothing anybody can say to you or do for you at that point so you need to just recognize it understand tell yourself the truth speak your truth about it that yes this is a toxic pattern and i don't want to be in it anymore next is to seek support the next step after recognizing it is to seek support speak to somebody speak to trusted people friends family a professional talk to somebody about it let them know the truth because hmm, when somebody wants to deal with you in a relationship the first thing they do is to take you out they will cut you off from friends or family or people that can help you so the moment you're able to understand that this person is most likely taking me away from people that matter to me and you want to break free you need to seek support no man is an island you cannot do this by yourself you cannot do this alone so you have to seek support get everybody seek guidance pastors friends family anybody you can talk to that is trusted and can give you the right advice because we know the people that will actually give us good advice in our lives you should actually seek support from those people next step is to establish boundaries i've spoken about boundaries how many times now on this channel and you need to establish those boundaries and stick to them set it and enforce those boundaries as confidently as possible because if you don't enforce these boundaries whatever it is that we're saying here is not going to do anything because or how are we even talking when i'll talk to you now i'll tell you something now and then some of us are like that when a relationship the moment your friend gives you one advice you act like you're here you know the moment you go back to that man or you go back to that woman your sense it will just disappear and you're wondering like your friend is wondering like am i not talking too much am i not doing too much because whatever is on your mind that you will do that that's what you want to do and you still go and do it so you need to establish establish clear boundaries with this person don't allow them anywhere close to you for the time being and you must enforce this very well because some of them are very manipulative most of them people are in toxic relationships their partner is very manipulative and then you keep hey, i don't know what's going on i just feel like establish your boundaries and stick to it next is to prioritize safety hi so while you're trying to leave that toxic relationship you need to come up with a safety plan that can help you leave the relationship safely if necessary because a toxic relationship doesn't have to be violent every time but in case it is a violent situation develop a safety plan so that they don't come back and meet you when you're trying to run away because that one will not be good <laughs> so you have to develop a safety plan with people that you trust people that you want that you trust because if you don't trust them and they carry that your plan that you have safely devised and tell the man or the woman and they come back and bust you on the plan ah cannot be good so your safety is very very key so you know what you're doing is please i know you're trying to break free and all of that but please break free with wisdom 
and your safety comes first leave your ego leave anything if you need to act dumb to act dumb to get out of there safely please act dumb it doesn't mean that you are dumb but sometimes just act act the act the part give them what they want to see for the next few days the next few weeks that you need to do it so that you can break free without them knowing please act it you are not stupid you are not silly you are only choosing and prioritizing your safety first good yeah so next is to prioritize self-care so while you're trying to break free one of the ways that you can remain sane that you can help yourself restart reboot your sanity is to prioritize self-care you need to take care of yourself do what you can do relax just take care of yourself i mean we've spoken about self-care a couple of times i was still going to be talking about it in this channel for a very long time so it just shows you how important it is whatever situation you find yourself in please self-care is very very key go on relaxation dates with yourself solo dates do whatever it takes just take care of yourself take care of your hair your nails skincare whatever you can do to take care of yourself please do not hesitate to grab it next is to consider professional help i know a lot of us do not like the idea of therapy it just makes us feel like am i mad but this is 2024 we need to embrace therapy like some people are therapists for a reason like they literally studied these things they went to school for it they are licensed professionals so it means they know what they are doing so if you can trust your friend enough that is not a professional therapist to tell them how you feel trust your family what of somebody that actually knows the job that that's that's their job don't you think it'll be better so consider professional help it's not a bad thing it's not a problem you can actually your mental health can be in shambles and that therapist just understands because they've seen it they have the experience they've seen people and they will not judge you they will, because you're paying you're paying for it even if you're not paying for it, even if it's free it's what they do so if you go to your doctor today and you tell your doctor you're sick, they would not judge you no matter what. Even if you have the worst STI, you will never see a doctor judge a patient. That's because they are professionals at it. That's what they do. So no matter the situation you find yourself, you can always talk to a therapist because it's their job and they would not judge you. Unlike taking your information to somebody that you don't even know how they will treat you, how they will look at you. They just look at them and let's look at you. You feel like they might look at you silly. The professional will never do that except the person is not a professional and the person judges you or talks to you or talks down on you or uses your information wrongly you can actually sue so consider professional help so now now that we have talked about how to break free the last the icing on the cake is to focus on moving forward i know you feel like you're in a bad place and Oh, we, you probably have even spent so many years with this person. You've invested so much emotionally, financially, and everything. You just feel very invested in that relationship. You need to change your focus from the past to the future, not even the present. Because putting your mind on the past is you telling yourself, we have been through this together. This person was this thing to me. This person was this way to me question is how is this person now what's the present situation and where do you see yourself tomorrow if it's a violent situation if you don't think about your tomorrow which would be either in the grave in coma with a broken limb with something a disfigured face if you don't think about that future you might be stuck in the past and then you find yourself in the future because it can actually kill you so if it if a relationship is toxic just focus on moving forward there's something better ahead god is not going to leave you he's not going to put you to shame there is something better for you ahead either as a single person or you might even find somebody else now moving forward does not guarantee that you might find somebody else but you might actually be better off single than with somebody else it just depends everybody has different destiny so don't be too stuck up on that relationship and the fear of loneliness that you end up killing yourself for just sitting down in a relationship that is not working or that is not good for you that is very harmful to you i don't think that's what you want to do for yourself 
So just place your mind, focus on moving forward. It would help you. It would, it would take you, it would take you places. Like you come first. I'm going to say this. I'm going to ring this over and over and over again on this channel. You come first. So ahead, ahead. We're going forward. We're moving forward. Place your mind on that. Where you're at now should not stop you from where you're going to. Just put your mind on it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed these tips. And I hope that if you're in a toxic relationship today, I hope that you find the strength to get out of it. And I pray that God will give you the strength to actually live. We might not be able to understand your pain. We're not, I'm not trying to sound like I actually understand your pain. Because nobody can. But I, I'm just trying to make you understand that I love you. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. And God loves you. So choose yourself first. We love you more than that person that is putting you through this pain. We definitely love you more than that. And yeah, come here. Take a big hug. Yes, I smell so good. Don't worry. It's good. It's comforting. <laughs> yeah, so take a big hug. Get out of it. I love you. See you next time. Oh, sorry. Sorry. If you have not subscribed to this channel, my name is Jenny UK. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And you're welcome to the Jamstars family. I love you. Bye.